Accidents can often be prevented. We feel very safe inside our homes. But there have been times when we have met with accidents at home. Have you ever been hurt at home? Yes, many of you may have gone through small accidents at home. Let us see the stories of some kids. Look at Priya. She is in the kitchen. Is there any risk of her getting hurt? She is touching the knife. A knife is a very sharp object and she may cut her finger. Kids should never play with sharp objects like knives or scissors. Oh no! Priya is trying to turn on the gas stove. Her mother came in at the right time. Why should kids never light the gas stove? Kids should never turn on the ignition of the gas stove. It is very dangerous. Cooking gas catches fire immediately. Look at Rahul. He is climbing on a stool to pick up his toy. His father came in and asked him to get off the stool immediately and never do it again. Why did Rahul's father ask him to climb down? Standing on a chair or table is not safe as we may lose our balance. We should use a step ladder and have an adult help us. Monica is trying to plug in the charger in the electric socket. Her mother immediately stops her. Why did Monica's mother not let her put the electric socket? We can get electric shocks if we touch the electric wires or sockets. Children should never use electric gadgets on their own. Neha's mother is mopping the room and Neha comes running in the room and slips. Luckily, she is not hurt badly. Her mother cautions her never to run on the wet floor. We should also never leave toys or other things lying on the floor of the house as someone may trip over them and get hurt. Look at John and Alex. They are running on the stairs. Their mother immediately stops them. A fall on staircase can be very dangerous. It can lead to bone fractures. In schools, while going up or down the stairs, we may often be in groups. So, being careful is even more important as we may not only hurt ourselves but others too. We should climb stairs slowly and never push anyone. While playing in the playground, we should again never push or kick any other child. When we go out on the road, taking care of our safety is again very important. We should never run or play on the roads. We should cross the road using zebra crossing. We should obey the traffic lights and cross the road only when it is green for pedestrians. We should carefully look at traffic from both sides of the road while crossing a road with no traffic signals. Following simple safety rules can make life much safer for us and others. In case someone is hurt, we should never panic and immediately call for help. Giving immediate care in the form of first aid to the injured or sick person can prevent a person's condition from getting worse. First aid should be given by those who have been taught how to do it. For small cuts or wounds, Wash the wounded area with water and apply antiseptic cream. If there is a bleeding, tying a bandage is helpful to stop bleeding. For slight burns, keep the burnt area in cold water for some time and also apply ice. Serious injuries or burns have to be treated by a doctor.